Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I will be unboxing my Play by Sephora for the month of November. And this is what the box normally looks like. If you're unfamiliar with Play by Sephora, it is a $10 a month sub box and you typically get five like travel or try me size items. And then they'll throw in like a perfume sample or something like that as well. So let's jump right in. You always, of course, get your little thing. It tells you what the theme and stuff is. You also get your 50 insider points for Sephora that now you can use in store and online. I think previously, and I was supposed to check this last time, I think that you could use to use it, used to use it, you could only use it in the stores at first. <laughs> uh, excuse my tongue ties them. We, we know I don't speak English sometimes. So you get this, and then of course it tells you what's inside and the, you know, where everything is supposed to do, but I don't like to look at that yet. And I really love that they are doing this now, although that's a really, that's a lot of plastic. And I get that, I understand that, but I much rather have these that I can actually seal things in. I can use them for other things versus like the little canvas ones that sometimes are not the cutest. Let's just be real, okay? So, first up is, oh, neat! A Grande Lips Hydro Plump Liquid Lisp Lipstick in Desert Peak. And I have tried their whatever that was, like the little plumping lipstick before, but it was different from this. That is kind of cool. I'm actually pretty excited about this. Let's see what it looks like. Oh my god. That is like the cutest, funniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So it's like a beautiful kind of mauve color. And that is what it looks like. I'm super excited. It smells really nice. They smell really good, but then you can also kind of smell like the plumping, whatever that may be. I don't know what plumpers are made of, but you can kind of smell that. And these are supposed to be long wearing, very com comfortable on the lips and stuff like that. So super excited. And it's a nudish shade, so even more exciting. Next up is Herborian Korean Skin Therapy CC Cream High Definition Radiance Face Cream with broad spectrum SPF 20. I do not see a sh shade. Open it up and check it out. Okay, yes, there's still no shade on it, but that is what it looks like. I hold a little package up. I have used a couple Korean skincare items, but not very many. It's not something that I am um, kind of super familiar with. So that is what it looks like on the back of the can. Excuse my little uh, birthmark there. Oh. So it's that is really weird. I don't know if you guys have ever used, now this is like way back in the day. Excuse my eyes, I just had a coughing fit, so hence the little cut. Um, but if you use the Almay um, self-adjusting like BB creams and stuff in the past. This is really what that reminds me of. So I don't know if it kind of adjusts to your skin tone, but it blended in pretty well. I should have probably used it on the one that doesn't have my birthmark on it. Um, that's kind of cool. It smells slightly perfumey, kind of, kind of like an SPF lotion, but not quite as strong, which kind of makes sense because it has SPF in it. I might keep this and try it out and maybe do it in like a first impressions video of all the different sub boxes for a couple months. Let me show you. Next up is one of the very tiniest little things I've ever seen in my little life. Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream. And that is what it looks like. I am not a fan of Clinique products. No offense to Clinique. Um, I do have their makeup eye remover and that is probably the only product that I've ever tried from them that I actually care for. So it's just my skin. I'm pretty sure that it's an amazing brand. I know a lot of people that swear by it, but I will not be using this. So I will be passing that along. Next up. I'm so glad I got this. I just used the last little bit of this yesterday for my son and myself's hair. So this is the Way Leave-In Conditioner. This stuff is phenomenal, you guys. Like, especially if you have thicker, coarse hair, um, like myself and my son, we both have pretty wavy hair. He has actually curly, very curly thick hair. Um, and this is phenomenal. Like, it makes your hair feel amazing and it smells so damn good. Okay. Next up is... Ooh, I have no idea who this is, but... Oh, Laura Mercier. Oh, shit. Laura Mercier Loose, trans Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I have not had the greatest luck <laughs> with setting powders because they kind of dust up or kick up, like I said before, and they make me cough, make me sneeze, make my eyes water. Um, I will try it and see if it does that. 
maybe it won't, I don't know, but normally they do, they make me just not feel the best. So I'm going to just put some on my hand. I want to kind of feel it and stuff because I see so many people use this and rave about it. So that is what it looks like. I'm just going to put it over this. I have to say it feels amazing. Like it is very, very, very finely milled. So I'm going to try it. I'm not going to give it away yet, but we shall see. <laughs> And then last but not least, of course, like I said, you get the five items and then you get like a perfume sample or something. And this is Commodity Gold. Never heard of it. Um, top notes are bergamot, juniper, and camphor, middles, amber, something, and bezoin. And the base notes are oak, moss, sandalwood, vanilla, and musk. I'm not into woodsy, musky scents and I also do not like vanilla at all. I know it's crazy, but I don't. So we'll pass that along as well. So I think overall, definitely an incredible, incredible bag. Like, I am blown away by these two. I absolutely loved the one that I tried before in this. And then this, like I said, I literally used the last little bit yesterday. And I was like, shit, I love this stuff so much. <laughs> and it works beautifully for my son's hair too, which obviously, you know, he's into like skincare and he's 14. So I'm really trying to teach him to really take good care of his hair, his skin. And he's like really into that kind of stuff. Like he loves using my purity cleanser. He has his own in his shower. So, yeah, I'm super excited to have that, but cool. Um, I was hoping to be able to get some products to maybe try on my face today, and I think from now on in my unboxings, I will, if there are actual products I can put onto my skin or onto my face, then I will do an unboxing kind of slash try me, um, just because I feel like these are a little bit short sometimes, and I really like to do something a little bit longer, not five hours long, but long enough that I can feel more personable and really feel like I'm getting to know somebody and kind of having a full on conversation. Um, I know when I watch box unboxing, when I watch unboxings or when I watch YouTube just in general, I prefer the lengthier ones. I prefer when, you know, the YouTuber sitting down actually talking. I feel like it's more real. Um, it's more conversational and more personal. So I think next month when I get all my sub boxes and stuff in, instead of just doing like a quick five, eight minute, you know, like, hey, this is what I got. Um, maybe also kind of prepping my skin prior to and then using the, you know, products that come in the boxes. So let me know what y'all think about that. Um, I just think that it'd be more fun and it'd be more personal as well. So I'm kind of looking forward to that, trying that and kind of seeing how that goes. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm super excited. I think, I mean, Sephora Play has really blown me away, you guys. Like, I want to say this is my fourth month. Um, and then I normally give sub boxes three months and then I nix them. Like Birchbox, I got that for two months and I was done. I was like, no, I'm, this is not worth it. No offense to Birchbox, but it just was not for me. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely am very, very pleased. And I'm super excited for next month getting the, like the boxy Lux and stuff like that. So that was going to be super exciting for me. But I appreciate it. Thank you, beauty, so much for watching. If you like this video at all, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. If you hit that notification bell down below, I'd be even more grateful and thankful. And please always remember to be your own best beautiful. Bye, beauties.